friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach, and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday, so it's another grocery haul day. I'm going to share with you everything I picked up for the week, as well as what I'm doing on my meal plan for dinners, also what you'll be seeing on Monday in my meal prep video. So if you're excited for another grocery haul, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new or you're not yet subscribed, I'd love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. I do grocery hauls every Saturday so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below for my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. It's essential to know where you should fall calorically and macronutrient wise every day to see the most results. So definitely take advantage of that service. And if you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one support, I do offer 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions as well. Links, discount codes to all of my very favorite things, as well as my Facebook group is down in the description box. Head on over and join us there. We'd love to have you. So we have a grocery haul to do, so let's jump in. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store and Trader Joe's. So let me jump into what I picked up for the week. We decided to try the special K raspberries because we really liked the strawberry and the blueberry and we were almost out of cereal. So I picked up the raspberry to give it a try. Two cans of organic Great Northern beans. This is for a dinner recipe. A can of Rotel, also for a dinner recipe. And a can of black beans. I'm doing a Mexican inspired recipe. I had to get these. This says limited edition, so I couldn't pass them up. This is the Eat or Bake 12 Big Lucky Charms Cookies. Doesn't that sound so delicious? They are 140 calories per cookie, and you can eat just the dough or bake them, and I thought that I would make these when our friends come over. 140 calories per cookie isn't bad. Two cans of Pillsbury Reduced Fat Crescent Rolls. I need both of these for a dinner recipe. Another bag of the Trader Joe's Organic Corn Chips, again for Troy's French onion dip. I've been eating these too, so I'm having to buy them on a regular basis so that he can finish off his dip. I also couldn't pass these up at Trader Joe's. These are the chocolate mousse eggs. You get six of them per container. They are so pretty. And I remember the mousse pumpkins being so good. And I imagine these are the same thing, but in Easter eggs. A loaf of the Trader Joe's sliced sourdough bread. This is one of my all time very favorite breads. 80 calories a slice and it is incredible. Pizza dough from Trader Joe's. I needed pizza dough for a recipe and it actually called for the Pillsbury pizza dough, but I just picked this up because we really like their dough and it's a lot more affordable. Dates for meal prep. I'm gonna make a recipe with dates. I love dates. In fact, the girl that checked me out at Trader Joe's said one of her favorite things to do with these is to fill them with peanut butter, which is also one of my favorite things to do. So I picked up a big pack of Medjool dates Light shredded three cheese blend. We need this for three or four dinner recipes. Another cheese party tray for Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers. Yes, he's still eating that pretty much every day. Four Too Good yogurts. I had a coupon. If you bought four, you got $1.50 off. So I did a blueberry, coconut, and two of the mixed berry. I'm going to top this with my Julian Bakery granola, which is one of my favorite snacks. Two Hum Kombucha Zero Sugar. Now I had a coupon for these as well, so I decided to pick them up. I have had the Ginger Lemonade and it was really good. And then this one is the Peach Tea. They are 10 calories per can and zero points. A gallon of 1% milk for Troy. Like I said, with him being on medical leave, he's not getting his normal free milk from where he works. Two bags of the Kid Fresh Chicken Meatballs. Now I've never had the meatballs, but I could not pass these up. They were on sale four bags for $5. That's $1.25 per bag. You cannot beat that deal. So I thought that I would try them. They have 10 grams of protein per serving. New snack find. I've actually heard about these. I just have never been able to find them. These are the Fruity Pebble Crisps. So they're big discs of Fruity Pebbles. See how it says actual size? So it's like a chip version of a Fruity Pebble. You get one ounce for 140 calories. And I thought this would be like a nice sweet treat. They also have Cocoa Pebble Crisps and I also saw Honeycomb 
crisps. I've never seen these anywhere other than at Fred Meyer or Kroger. The lay wraps were on a killer price, $2.99, limit one, or I would have bought more because you can freeze these, but I picked these up just to have on hand. A bag of nacho cheese Doritos because on next week's What I Eat In A Day, next Wednesday, I'm making a Doritos casserole. Wait till you hear about this recipe. It's using Doritos. It sounds so, so delicious. Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles. This is for breakfast meal prep. Two creamers this week. First, I've never seen the sugar-free coconut cream. Now, I don't really like a lot of the sugar-free creamers, but the coconut cream from Coffee Mate's my favorite, so I'm going to try the sugar-free. I'll definitely let you guys know what I think. And then my favorite creamer pretty much ever is Chobani. Unfortunately, the only flavor they had was vanilla, but I went ahead and picked that up. A big bag of my favorite shrimp. I had a $2.50 off coupon. That made this whole bag just over $6. This is the Argentinian red shrimp extra large. They're raw. I like to buy my shrimp raw. I think they taste better than the pre-cooked. These are so good. Succulent, buttery, lobster taste and texture is legit. That's exactly what these shrimp taste like. My favorite milk, the only place I can find this also is Fred Meyer or Kroger. This is the Forager cashew milk. I love this this milk and I was out of my nut milk so I picked that up and just a little bit of produce this week I did just get my imperfect foods box so I'm pretty loaded up on fresh produce but I had a coupon for a free bag of the private selection veggies the broccoli florets are my favorite and you can buy these conventional because broccoli's on the clean 15 I did pick up a bag of organic super sweet corn from Trader Joe's and then of course some organic lemons for my water so that is this week's grocery haul let's jump into my meal plan plan and what you'll be seeing, which I can't wait for on Monday for meal prep. Let's jump into this week's meal plan. This is the week of March 20th through March 26th. You guys, March is almost over crazy. So today is Saturday. We always do an out to dinner or a splurge meal. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making Dorito casserole. Stay tuned for this recipe in next Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day. You're not going to want to miss it. Monday, I'm doing beef and asparagus pasta toss. Providing my nutrition order with all my fiber gourmet pasta is here, which I think it will be because I'm completely out of my favorite pasta. Otherwise, I'll just move this down to a little bit later in the week. Tuesday is a leftover night because I go to Jazzercise. Wednesday, I'm making a hamburger casserole. We've had something like this before, but this is a different recipe, so I'm excited to try it. Thursday will be a leftover night so that we can eat up anything earlier in the week because on Friday we head to Ontario, Oregon to meet the breeder to pick up our brand new puppy, Palmer, and we're spending the night there and we'll be back on Saturday the 27th. So of course we need to eat up everything during the week by the time we go pick him up. For my meal prep this next week, breakfast is going to be the sausage breakfast muffins. Lunch, I'm making a buffalo chicken squares and dessert is deep dish chocolate chip cookie pie. So stay tuned on Monday in meal prep for all three of these recipes. Thank you for joining me on another WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the goodies that I picked up, these new food finds, my meal plan, and of course, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new or you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all of my favorite things, and my Facebook group. So definitely check that out. Happy Saturday, my beautiful friends. Enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye!